Go to the house of the fifth in the cemetery. Some satanic. It did crash. No. I can do. the totems in the right order. I guess bottom to top. Fucking rock combination. Hog name results. Three those find his people the wild hunter. Nothing. Like the totems in the right order. Can I fucking brute force it? That looks like a middle piece. That looks like a top piece. Maybe this one. This one. Then this one. Probably something I should have seen, but I'm too old. In a bygone era, when someone could decipher the magic notes. Hmm. Who knows magic? Oh, that, uh. The sorceress. Yeah. Moira. Oh, so these are the, uh, the gravestones, apparently. <laughs> Mystery of Earth, I get. Okay. 
Nee. Okay, there's not much to be seen. Let's take those notes to the sorceress. of the map haven't been revealed. Almost all of them. I've been uh, exploring a lot. So difficult. On another quest, we have Colonel Battle. one of the artifacts. Maybe they'll just reveal themselves in time. Isn't this the place? No, it's not. Perhaps I can uh, get from one beach to another. Of course not. your way then. Oi, what you doing here? Mm, I need to inspect this place. Get out of the way. I need to inspect this area. Be careful. 
They say stepping in the ashes brings bad luck. Get us out of here, will ya? You came here on your own, you can get back on your own. This place is crawling with droners. I mean, we'd have stayed in our tents on our arses if we'd known. We're safe in the circle, but three feet outside, and who knows what would happen. All right, we'll go back together, but let me look around first. Apparently, it's bad luck to tread on the ashes. Rich ashes. Who cares enough to bring all these things here? I guess they're just gonna force me to step on the ashes, won't they? Who cares enough to bring all these things here? Oh, come on then, bring me some bad luck. Strange aura. Let's take a closer look. Examine the pit of Carved from a solid piece of stone. Reusable, you could say. Items around the circle. Candles, amulets, coins. People make offerings here like they would at a shrine. Examine the candles. Candles. The stench is worse than Zoltan's boots. Nothing unusual about them otherwise. Takes quite Square coin. coins adorned with a fish. I guess the plotters like to come here. That looks like slabs of fucking uh, clay. Let's see. Listen. An unnatural stillness typical of intersections and places where streams of the power meet. Unnerving, but harmless. Examine the soil. People seem to be staying away from the wheel. They're afraid, while the gifts are at a safe distance from it. Except for one person. With Kedweni Army Issue boots. Glad to know I'm not the only one to desecrate this site. Animal tracks. Animal tracks. Dogs, wolves, bears, <coughs> even birds. You'd think this was a feeding ground, but they all fear the circle. Except for cats. Their tracks are everywhere. One even napped on the pedestal. Triss once told me cats like to sleep on intersections. And they're the only beasts apart from dragons who can draw the power. They clearly like this place. Look, I'm on the wheel. Sabrina was nailed to this wheel. The wheel jarring. Something protected the wheel from the flames. It's hardly scorched. Hmm. Fresh holes and splinters. Someone's pulled nails from the wheel recently. Take the nail. I better take one, just in case. Okay. I need to bring the king here. I need to reenact the execution. If I can only summon Sabrina's ghost, I could force her to lift the curse. The Draugrs and the Mist will remain, but at least the King will be safe. I need to know what happened here. Witnesses of the execution, they're the key. If I can just find out how Sabrina died, I should be able to free Henselt of the curse. Two leads. Sabrina's cultists and the Nail Thief, who's obviously immune to the aura of this place. Time to question some soldiers. Yeah, cool. You've looked and touched your fill, right? Let's get out of here. Did you light those candles? Did you light those candles? We did. What's it to you? Well, uh, this is dangerous ground. From what I've seen, it's not safe here. The beasts are too scared to come near the circle. Maybe, but you gotta leave the circle to return to camp. Help us get back! If you all know this area is infested with monsters, why the hell did you come here? On a kind of pilgrimage to visit the circle. Feel their eyes on you. They're watching us. We won't get out alive, superstitious idiots that we are. Don't you believe the visionary? You don't have to. But it was worth a try, right? Old idiot. It's his fault we ended up here. Who's the visionary? Who is this visionary? He's behind all this. He talks of miracles in the circle. I believe him. Know why? 
He lives deep in the valleys, but something protects him from all those harpies. Did you see the execution? Did you see them burn the sorceress? Three years ago. We both served under Henselt then, but only the fifth company guarded the stake. They say the king never wanted to make a spectacle. Some soldiers never come here, but others visit the circle to check the remains. You're just like them. To you, it's only a superstition to make money from. You're looking for old nails in the ashes. Like that shitbag who trades outside the inn. You're mistaking me for someone else. Really? Didn't give us the nails. Here, take it. Really? Ta! How did you manage to avoid the drowners on your way here? The visionary was with us. He led us through, then left. I don't like this place. Thought you'd want to stay the night here. I know at least a few places I'd rather sleep. Come on. Beats me why they've been fighting over these hellholes for generations. I get goosebumps every time I go outside the palisade. Guess the vicar was right. We should have sat on our asses. You'll be whistling a different tune when the mist lifts and... <laughs> Drowner lairs, not the best spots for picnics. Curses on him! If it wasn't for you that have eaten us! We owe you our lives, Witcher. We can't let Zivit catch us. Don't shit your pants. Sabrina saved us from the monsters. So what's one little Zivit to her? Hey, let's have a look. Oh, that's a man. Well, not another fucking stone. We're going for the seamless loading. I don't Ah, square okay, no. coins and that barking oh, bomb. Dren. As long as they pay us, that sound is fucking ingrained into my want, forehead. Fuck away. And there's missing soldiers. The soldiers you were looking for, they got held up for a while at Sabrina's circle. Ah, oh, the idiots. And to be duped by witchcraft and superstitions. I'll put them to scrubbing the latrines indefinitely. But uh, I thank you for bringing them back. Your reward, as promised. You must love Hemsold. From what I can see, you and the men love your king. He's like a father to us, really. Comes around from time to time, chats it up, pats you on the mug. Remembers our names, too. Though you got to earn that in battle. Been so distinguished three times already. Pride myself on it. I'm sure it's a great honor for a humble soldier like yourself. Last time it happened, we was on the march. Some peasant poisoned his well. A few of our lads died. Many others got sick. I path pass path aside that village. We hit them so hard, we even struck fear into our own boys. They went without a row for two days, and the king was very pleased. He came around. Gave me a friendly punch in the gut, laughed, and said, You are one true son of a bitch. If you'd not been born among swine, you'd probably be king. That's how he is. Humane and all. He's really got a heart. Heard of the visionary. I heard there's a man living outside the camp known as the visionary. Ever met him? 
The soldiers talk about him, but I've never seen him. If I ever do, he'll regret that he fooled my people with all those superstitions. Uh, yeah. No, you got this. At Sabrina's execution. Did you see Sabrina's execution? Wish I could have, but only the fifth company was sent there. She deserved it. What she did to the boys. Believe me, I've seen a lot of monstrosities in my life. My brother died during a coup in Rhind when a maid boiled the blood in his veins. Also, I once saw a soldier raping a dead elf woman. But three years ago, people melted like lead. Something you can't forget, Witcher. There's a relic. No, the relic peddler. There's a soldier by the end mm. scraps from Sabrina's execution nice site. I know. The damn quartermaster. This business of his muddles the minds of the soldiers. Suddenly, everyone believes a splinter in your pocket will protect you in battle. Half wits. Hmm. They're just scared. After what happened here three years ago, it's no surprise they're terrified. I'll tell you one thing, Witcher. In combat, I can count on my shield, my armor, and my comrades, if they still live. Many of those boys will die in Bergen, even with their pockets stuffed with mystical splinters that cost a silver piece each. I want them to be afraid. When steel hits steel, I want them to be alert, damn it! If they're dumb and put their trust in rusty nails and ashes, they won't have a hope in hell. I'm curious about the last battle of Bergen. Did you participate in the battle? I did. And I fought. I'd rather not go into it. The spirits of those who died in battle are now in combat on that field. They kill each other and change into nasty creatures called Draugrs. Adernians, Kedwenis, even your comrades. I want to help them, but I have to know what happened during the battle. Oh, the plague. Listen then. The fighting started in the afternoon. The Dun Banner was first to attack. We were ambushed, cut off from our main unit and devastated. Bloody scouts and Sabrina Glevesic, who was supposed to mine the battlefield. By then, the battle was in full swing. Wherever you see those damned furrows, people fought there. The Adernian lines faltered a few times, but we couldn't crush them because of Selkirk. Yes, we had the visitor. They had Selkirk of Gullet, the invincible white knight, Edern's finest swordsman. Whenever our forces gained the upper hand, he'd appear and reverse the fighting's course. Then, Vandergrift himself went into battle. He met Selkirk in the middle of the melee. It was a battle of titans. In the end, the visitor hacked Selkirk and sliced the white knight from his head to his balls. <coughs> then, death fell from the heavens. Lumps of burning soil flew through the air. The whole valley was on fire. Damned magic of a damned witch! I owe my life to Priest Crest, our chaplain. He led me out of the battle and went back for the others. He had a medallion that protected him against fire. He led everyone out, including the Adernians. But the flames got him in the end. Uh, Chris Madame disappear with him. You mentioned the priest. A really good man. He was with us the whole time, during the march, in the barracks, and in battle, among common soldiers. Freya gave him a medallion to protect him from fire. I don't know how true that is, but he led me and many others to safety. Who has this medallion? King Henselt. I saw it once. I don't know how he got hold of it, but he definitely had it. Any memories of the Battle of Brenna? Were you at Brenna? Ah, yes. Cut down more black ones there than anywhere else. The Redanians were in disarray on the left when we joined the battle. Same with the Temerian regiments in the middle. We arrived just in time. Menno Cohorn commanded the Nilfgaardians. He was some leader. Even we feared him like fire. But somehow we prevailed. What happened to him afterwards? He refused to flee. Died like many of us. No. No one knows who did it, and no one ever found his corpse. And how did the battle start? What happened before the battle? We forded the Pontar on the third day after the autumn equinox. 
the Adernians were waiting for us, formed up in a long line at the foot of those hills. I remember the banners of Wengerberg, Aldersburg, Gullet. Knights, armored infantry, peasants, the Vergen Dwarf Regiment, all save the king. They numbered more than 5,000. General Vandegrift, commander of the Kedwenis, had less than 4,000 including the elite bearheads, armored troops from Ard Karaig, and the famous white foxes of the north. And ourselves, the Don Banner, veterans of Brenner, hated by the Adernians more than the plague. But above all, we had Vandegrift the Visitor. Maybe he was a bastard, but he knew war like nobody else. You served in the Dun Banner. Do I have this right? You served in the Dun Banner? Did indeed. Henselt's never commanded a fiercer group of warriors, and he never will. If not for us, there have been no victory for the North at Brenner. We carried the day. I didn't see the Dun Banner in the camp. And you won't. The units no more. Ensign Eckhart Hennessy carried the standard into battle for the last time three years ago. Glebesig's magic? Worse. The Adernian troops, the bastards. The Dun Banner, the pride of Kedwin, lost its standard and almost all its men. The Visitor refused to send us reinforcements when we were cut off. The Dun must prevail. It's been in worse shite than this. The Dun will be all right. Seven Adernians to each one of us. We had no fucking hope. Two hundred men went into battle and less than seventy came back. But that's not all. Only a few survived to this day. The boys couldn't handle it. Suicide, firewater, fist tech. A few became highwaymen. They ended up on the gallows or in ditches. Memories can also kill you, and soldiers don't always deal with them well. I have to find that standard. I heard it lies in the catacombs neath Bergen, alongside my mates. Hey, if you're thinking of going there, I ought to give you my beaver skin cap. That's its rightful place. Thank you, Eric. You helped me. Thanks, Civic. So long. Ooh, that was a lot of fucking dialogue. Say the fucking name and I'll swear I'll fucking cut you. Audrey, where are you? What do you want? To talk. I just arrived. What do you want to? Hansold has no sorcerers at court. Indeed. And he won't. How do you know? Wasn't for naught he burned that Sabrina Gleth. Whatever. Won't take on another after her. Death Mold would never agree to it anyway. Strange custom. Death Mold has more to say than the king. How should I know? Sabrina's dead, and that's that. Some mourn her. Most just couldn't give a goat's arse. <laughs> yeah, let's actually go and uh, see if we can do something about those screws. The whole camp's gone berserk looking for the coin. Grown lads with their arses in the air. Scavenging around the tent. Bring her. Where is she, eh? Huh? You meet your match. We need to talk. What? No, hello. Good morning. Pack her up and kiss my ass. Nothing. Uh, hello. Good morning, White Wolf. Will you take some tea? It's a fortifying beverage. Some other time, maybe. Oh, fucking God. Oh, that's going to be the next fucking half an hour. We've spoken to the king. Spoken to the king yet? Indeed. He was delighted to hear he can be cut from the curse. 